hi guys welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new to my channel welcome and i hope you enjoy my painting tutorials today we'll be doing a boat painting tutorial and i'm just so excited about this because i love boats and especially the rustic ones um you know the not so perfectly looking boats i really like those because they give they give me that um real feeling you know that if you know what i'm talking about you know that i don't want anything perfect in my paintings i want some realistic paintings which means imperfect ones so we will be using only a few colors today and all of them are quite familiar to most of you i hope so here are the colors we have okay you, as you can see i always get tons of paints i really don't mind um putting a lot of paint on my palette because I'd rather have a lot than less. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but we have here Thalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Mid Yellow or Cadmium Yellow, Black, Burnt Sienna, and Titanium White. If I spoke a little faster, you can check out the list of colors that I'm using for today's tutorial in the description box below so as you can see here my canvas is already painted gray it's actually dark gray but um the reason is um it's an old painting of mine that i just painted over because i don't like that painting anymore as you know i recycle some of my old painting tutorials you know some of them are no longer with me because they got painted over so today is one of it's one of those and I chose the gray color as the underpainting or the background or the cover painting for this one because it will be useful for today's painting tutorial. I will use some muted colors, muted blue colors, so the gray paint or the underpainting will help in achieving that um, muteness, muteness of colors. So let's begin now. We'll be doing first the background before we sketch the boat because um the waters uh actually form part form a huge part of this painting because we're painting a boat which is supposed to be on the water <laughs> so let's begin now i don't know if i'm still making sense but yes so for the waters i'm just gonna use first a huge fairly huge brush actually it's all ruined but just for me to be able to get things done quite quickly that's why i'm using a huge brush for this one so i'll be using my okay i'm gonna wet my brush um mid yellow uh, i'm sorry uh, what am i saying guys it's not mid yellow it's phthalo blue and then lots of titanium white so you create that cerulean blue color if you have your cerulean blue you can use that but i want to mix my colors so I'm going to mix my white, my phthalo blue, and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of black just to mute the color a bit. Even if the background is already muted, uh, adding some black paint with, um, adding some black paint to your white and blue will make it more mute. Muted, I mean. So I think this color will do. It's muted light blue. And I'm going to use this color. Maybe I'm going to add a tiny bit of bur burnt sienna. This tiny bit just to mute the colors down. All right, I think this is fair enough. I mean, this is good enough for me to use the color. So I'm gonna use that to underpaint the waters. And as you can see, I'm painting in a horizontal motion. And that's because I want to follow the flow or the move, the flow or um, what do you call this? The flow of water or the movement of water or the behavior of water. I think that's the best word. The behavior of water. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm just, uh, sometimes I lose the exact words to describe what I'm doing. So as much as possible, retain that uh, left-right motion. Okay, maybe up to here. 
And then we're gonna go a little darker down here because of perspective. And for that, I'll be using my ultramarine blue. I'm just gonna mix it with the existing light blue color that I have here. I'm gonna add white. Oh, that's too much white. I'm gonna add more ultramarine like that. And then add a tiny bit of black to mute the color. Add more to make it quite dark, I um, mean darker. Maybe this is dark enough. So I'm gonna use this to give some perspective, okay? Kind of blend the colors, the light blue and the muted ultramarine. I don't know if you can see the ultramarine color, but I'm just gonna add more black. Okay, that's too dark, but I'm gonna just go for it. Okay, you can see a lot of um, dried acrylics because um, that's actually an old paint of mine. That's why some of the paints have already dried out. Just gonna finish covering this area. Hope you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna blend it a little. All right, like that. And then I'm gonna go second layer for the light blue color. Then just mix your white and your phthalo blue, okay, like this. And allow some dark colors to mix so that you mute the colors. I'm just gonna go for a second layer. You may choose not to do this step. Uh, it's just that my canvas is quite absorbent. That's why it's, it's absorbing my, my colors. Besides, we're actually focusing on the boat, not on the waters. But you know me, I love painting water, so I might as well, um, you know, uh, paint the waters the way I want it. Okay, now let's add some movement and depth to the waters. And we'll be using some gray colors. So I'll be mixing my white and then black so just do some gray color like this as you saw uh, i did not wash my brush out because i want to retain the blue colors um on my palette knife on my <laughs> paint brush not palette knife guys okay so i'm gonna use this gray color to give some depth okay it made it quite darker so just go uh, horizontal again in between those blue colors. Okay. I'm gonna go dark gray okay so just add black to your gray colors we're gonna go down here and 
also here. What we're doing is so preliminary to um, the final product of this painting. But we don't want to do this step when the boat is already there because we don't want to paint over, you know, go into the intricate spaces. So we're doing the background first. Then we can simply go back to this later when the boat is done because the paint is pretty dry by that time. So I'm going to wash my brush out and I think we can sketch now the boat because this is my most favorite part and I'll be using a small square brush for the sketching. Again, it doesn't really matter what type of brush you use for sketching as long as the shape of the subject is there. And sometimes some people are comfortable using small brushes. Some people are comfortable using big brushes. It's really up to you. I don't want to uh, limit you to using just one type of brush because um, I don't follow rules, guys. <laughs> Just so you know, uh, that's how I do my thing. I don't follow rules. Of, co of course, I follow general rules, but then uh, there's no um, manual for me when I'm painting. So for the sketch, I'm just going to use hmm, some white. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black to make it gray, right, like this. Okay, so let's start sketching now. Remember as well that we'll be doing some perspective. That's why shape-wise, it doesn't look like a boat, but when it's finally done, it's gonna look like a boat um, with some perspective. Right, okay. It doesn't look like a boat, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like a boat, but I promise you it will look like a boat later. I don't know, I think I'm gonna extend it further. Okay, so disregard this section. I'm gonna make it quite wider like that, okay? So, yeah, I just deleted that. Did you see that? <laughs> I just deleted that portion using my fingers. Okay. All right, like that. All right, like that. All right, so that's basically the shape of the boat. And now we're going to underpaint the boat, okay? Same color, I'll be using some gray color. And let's just start underpainting it. Okay, I'm going to get phthalo blue mixed with white. I'm 
I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow to make it more like um, blue green color like that like that I mean sorry guys <laughs> I cannot speak properly so it's like this Remember, this is just the underpainting, okay? This is just a guide of uh, how things are gonna go later. It's like a map leading you to something, right? All right, I'm gonna wash my brush out and then I'm gonna mix my blue and then black just mix your blue and black actually you can just simply use black but i want to avoid using pure black this time although i'm a fan of using just pure black but this time because of the presence of water we don't want the colors to be just pure black because um the colors of the water are being reflected on the boat somehow by the light so i'm gonna use this blue black mixture on the right side of this boat so the sketch that we actually used right here will simply be covered And we will go back to this area later when the paint is um, like 80% dry. All right. Let's just allow that area to dry first. And now, okay, we go back to this side of the boat and we'll be using the same color that we used there. Painting the inside. like that okay I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to that color let's paint this okay like that all right okay now I'm gonna get my black again I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow and then burnt sienna okay I'm gonna use this color to the bottom of the boat. Okay, I'm gonna get my black and then I hope you can still see that all right I'm going to make some definitions I'm going to uh, make some gray color and I'm just gonna correct some areas here
Okay, like that. Okay, right. <laughs> Before we go inside, I'm going to do some highlighting. So get your white, okay? Get your white and just highlight. That part. Okay, like that. Also here. And I'm going to add some blue color to my white. Okay. to make some highlights or not highlights but detailing right here remember the side is coming from the left side that's why this area should be a little dark. Actually, not a little dark, but really, really dark, all right? Later, we'll do some highlighting on the left side. We're just focusing first on the boat because that's the main subject. Okay, I'm gonna get my mid-yellow, mix that with burnt sienna. Let's try to add some detailing like that These are like the ropes, okay? Later we will do some more detailing on the ropes. For now, let's just create those shapes. Okay. And I'm going to extend the rope. Right here. like that okay okay now before we apply more before we do a lot more detailing we're going to get or we're going to do some shadows so get your black and blue Let's try to create some shadows. I'm going to divide it first. Like that. And I'm going horizontal again. Remember that the reflections are the distorted um, image of the thing being reflected. So make your lines quite um like uneven 
but in a horizontal manner. I'm not going vertical just yet, just pure um, horizontal. Okay, like that. I'm going to get my blue and then yellow to make some blue greenish color, maybe more blue and then white then yellow okay just adjust okay maybe more blue okay maybe this color i'm going to use this to create the reflections on the left side okay that's still green added some white I don't know if you can see that maybe not because it's not yet being contrasted with the color beside it we will add some gray color later I'm adding white Okay, wash your out. It's not actually being seen, right? But we're going to add some gray color. So I'm going to get my white and then black. Let's try to use this color to make it more visible. I'm going to add more white. Let me check. Okay. I'm gonna get my black. Get your black and let's create some Okay, details like that. And then using black again, I'm gonna go vertical this time. But only on a few areas. I'm going to add more contrast against the waters. So using the ultramarine white mixture that we had earlier, I think, yeah, ultramarine. I think I already ran out of ultramarine. So I'm going to get more ultramarine. I told you my canvas is actually absorbent. That's why um, it's not really visible. So I'm gonna use some light ultramarine colors right here. But I'm using a lot of water so that I get that watery image.
and I'm going to do the same thing on the left, on the right side. All right, like that. All right, I'm gonna wash my brush out, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to the upper or to the distant waters, or to the more distant waters. And I'm just gonna use my white to make it more uh, distant, appearance-wise. So I'm going to use a lot of water. And still I'm going vertical in application. Oh sorry, horizontal I mean. Alright, like that. Okay. And then I'm going to lighten this dark gray color because it looks weird. So I'm just gonna soften it using some gray colors. Try to soften. I don't want any hard lines appearing on the waters. Okay, like that. All right. Okay, I'm gonna use a small square brush and get my burnt sienna mixed with black. So it's like this. Let's make some reflections on the distant waters before we proceed to detailing the boat. This will add more interest and more realism to our painting. So just go horizontal when you do this step. Okay, now I'm gonna go lighter. I'm gonna get just pure brown. I'm gonna add yellow to make it more light. Again, I'm retaining the horizontal application. Now I'm gonna apply, okay, I'm gonna get my yellow. I'm not washing my brush, I'm gonna add some white. I'm, use, I'm gonna use this yellow to add more details.
right like that and then I'm gonna get my black pure black but you know I'm not washing my brush so it's not really pure black like that okay and then I'm gonna allow that first to dry mm, or maybe not let's just add more detailing to that part sorry guys I'm gonna get my pure white okay and using pure white we're going to make some highlights on the reflections but really subtle guys only subtle All right, okay. And then I'm gonna go back to that later because we're going to glaze this with white. I don't want it to be super, um, like super hard lines appearing from the distance because it's not really consistent with perspective. We go back to the boat before we go back to that area. Let's just allow the paints to dry first. Now I'm going to get my pure white Using pure white, let's go and highlight the boat. Okay. Now I'm going to create some light blue or cerulean blue color. Let's lighten this area. Right like that. And also, if you lighten that part, you should also lighten the reflections. here as well I'm going to make it 
quite turquoise -y. I added some yellow colors. that and then some black also here try to make it quite dark because it's not really receiving enough light some detailing then using pure black I'm gonna go and outline the base of the boat So here, I'm going to do some tiny vertical lines. Very minimal. Okay, like that. Okay, wash your brush out. And then I'm going to go more into more detailing because I'm not really uh, satisfied just yet. I'm going to get my black and then burnt sienna. Let's create some natural looking markings on the boat. like that it's like dirtying the boat <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing right here we don't want it perfect as I told you guys during the intro of this video if it's perfect it doesn't resonate to me I don't know why also here down here Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna, okay? I'm gonna add yellow. Let's create some brownie color, uh, brownie color um, markings right here. And of course, reflection. like that I think I'm gonna make it I'm gonna correct the shape okay I'm gonna extend it right like that And then I'm going to outline the boat, okay? I'm going to use my black. 
I don't know what time are we in or we're 46 minutes in. Okay, just outline the shape of the boat. Okay, and then go inside. Okay, like that. Make this area quite darker. And then let's highlight the rope. I'm gonna get my white, mix that with the browny, yellowy color that we have here. Remember the burnt sienna um, mid-yellow combination. Just add white to that and then you get the highlight for the rope. And we're going to highlight this portion as well, like that. Very subtle. And then that too. Like that. And then before we move on to doing or to doing some more detailing on the boat, okay, maybe I can, I can actually glaze this part with some watered down black just to gray the color. You don't want it to be super white because it's not facing the sun or the light. And then I'm going to use that to also gray some areas here. And here. We don't want any hard lines, especially regarding the outline that we had. We will delete the excess um, excess um, sketch, if I make sense. When I said outline this area, we don't want or we want to avoid that super thick line in outlining it because when you look at the object, real objects, there's really no hard lines when you look at them. Okay, I'm just gonna lighten it a bit. All right, this is really technical already. Okay, now I'm going to create, actually this looks good. I'm going to create that little, um, uh, it's like a platform for the boats when they are docked. I hope I'm making sense. So I'm just gonna get my burnt sienna again and then mix that with black. Let's just try to create that, even only basic, right? Just to not, the, uh, not make the rope look like it's just there for nothing. I'm going to create a little platform, quite rusty as well. Like 
that. I'm gonna use my black. Okay, again my black, let's create some, okay I think I already ran out of black. So using black, I'm going to darken. Okay, like that. So it's making sense right now. Like the rope is making sense because if you don't want the rope to be there, if you want the rope to be there, I think it really is good to have something um, to which it is connected. But if you don't want the rope, then you can absolutely remove this part. It's up to you. So I'm using some light browny yellowy color. Let's, okay, it's too wet, but I'm just gonna go for it until it um, covers the whole area. Like that. Let's lighten this area. Actually, we can go back to this later. It's too wet. Okay. Let's go and create some reflections. Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna allow that first to dry. I don't want to keep applying paints over and over again and just make the paints blend with each other because it's too wet. So let's go back to the boat, the main subject of this painting tutorial. 
Okay, I'm gonna glaze. Let's go back to the waters, by the way. So I'm gonna glaze it with some white and blue mixture. I'm gonna get my white and then my blue. Okay. I'm gonna get my ultramarine blue. Let's try to be um, careful in doing this step. Don't overpaint um, your canvas. Just um, slightly apply the paint, okay? It's not dry brushing, it's just like glossing it, okay? This area. And then I'm gonna get my black, okay, my black, and then my blue. And in the same manner, we're going to, maybe this is too dark. I just added some white. Again, simply glaze over. Okay, like that. Also here. I'm gonna get my black and I want to darken some areas right here not everything just a few areas lighten the tail portion I'm calling it the tail because it's like the end of the reflection and then here as well Okay, let me check. Okay, this is good. Okay, now I'm gonna use my white. Let's try to make some more highlighting. I'm gonna go and glaze some white. We really want this area to be super bright because it's facing the sun. Okay, and this area, dark. Again, and to be consistent with the light, we're going to lighten the wood. I think this is already dry.
So I'm just making some markings that would suggest um, being rustic. Then I'm gonna get my black. Let's add another um, pole supporting this um, supporting this wooden um, platform. Let me check. Okay. Let me check. Okay, this is good. This is good. But as you know me, I'm gonna go for more detailing because I'm just crazy over it. So I'm gonna get more yellow and then blue. I'm gonna get I'm gonna apply this greeny colors. On the boat I kind of want some other colors to appear on the boat like that water okay Okay, more white. Now let's make the rope. Let's give it some more sense. I'm going to I'm going to connect the rope to the pole. Like that. Okay. I want it to be more dark inside.
find some more light. You can definitely tell that I'm obsessing, right? But I don't mind because I want this to be really, really pretty as far as I'm concerned. some dark reflections and here some Let me check. Okay, this looks this looks nice. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna again just to add more natural looking markings on the boat. I'm gonna get my white. And more detailing on the distant waters. some brownie colors i'm just adding some colors that will suggest more naturalism on the boat And then, for the, fun, for the fun part, I mean, I'm going to get my palette knife. And I know that some of you really enjoy using palette knives. So I'm just going to use my palette knife and dab it on to, hmm, I'm going to get my phthalo blue because that's the color that I saw first. Okay, I'm just going to use the back of the palette knife and I'm going to create some interesting um, markings on the boat. Do not overdo this step because we're actually done. But I just want to add some more interest. Okay. And apply it here on the reflection. Just to be consistent. And then I'm going to get my 
Hmm. I'm going to get my brown. I think I already ran out of brown. And maybe I'm going to get more white. All right? And I'm not washing my palette knife. I'm just going to dab onto my brown and then brown. Brown and white. What am I saying? And then I'm going to create some more detailing. Here and there. Again, do not overdo the step. We don't want it to be overdone. You just want to suggest some rustic um, feel to the, to to our boat. Right, I'm correct. The palette knife really just amazes me. Okay. Like that. Maybe we can add some detailing here as well. I keep adding white because I really want the highlight to stand out. Oh my gosh, guys, I really love this. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know how you feel about this one, but I really, really like this one. Okay. I just fixed that because it's too thick. Okay, what is this? What is this? <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I think we're done. We're done, guys. What do you think? I think this is done um, everything else that I'm doing will be more of um, aesthetic but basically we're done and I kind of like the result it's amazing I love it at first it, it looked like we're not going anywhere but now we're done and I think I can sign this now what do you think so I'm gonna sign this now but of course I need to make some more highlights.
All right. I'm gonna sign this now, guys, because if I don't sign this now, I'm gonna obsess over, over this painting, and I'm gonna sign right here. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Yay! I really like this one. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I hope you do this one as well. Please like this video if you liked it. And, you know, so that it also um, uh, makes you save the, um, the link to the video so that it will be easier for you to find it. If you like the video, just go to your like folders and then you will easily find this video if you cannot do this painting with me just yet so yeah i hope that makes sense and i hope you enjoyed this one i hope you enjoyed watching this one and yeah share this with your friends so that they know that i exist and so that they learn from my tutorials as well see you in my next video guys mm. 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 love you <laughs>